Oh, going right into it. John. Wow. John I Jacobs is here. At Holy time. shit. Wow, in my little oval. I really made it now. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of in a big oval. Yeah, you even though I'm oval. in the shape of an oval. This is like the reboot of Brady Bunch or something. <laughs> We're just gonna pop up in these little holes. Here's a story. Yeah. Of, of a, a man guy named... who looks like a lady. <laughs> Hell yeah. He was. No, th- this looks like a Zoom court meeting right now. Really. Yeah, it kind of does a little bit. I I, I like it. I mean, nah, it's a cool well, like version. the original setup I had it. It was just the camera, the recording. Uh huh. It looked like shit, okay. but I mean, the, I mean, the quality's good. I like this yeah, little. I like the uh, lighting, it looks very nice. Yeah, it's not bad at all. I can't yeah. complain People one have no bit. No idea where we are. No, they, they they don't know. I mean, you can you got my address. You can literally talk to me if you want to right now. You so can be chi, like Chi Time. Is that a play on your last name? Well, yeah, because my last name, um, I, I'll say it, Chi Talk. Chi, chi and I and you know powerful chi like in Buddhism. Yes, yes. Oh, sure. I, I have a very strong really chi. Good. I've been good. told that by many people. Yeah. I hope I still have I a like strong how you're a chi. Hesitant to say your last name for a second. Well, I'm the only one with my last name in the United. Well, what? 45 other people have my other have my last name. You know, I'm gonna hold in this the world to uh, in America because okay. it was it was changed. Okay. Like, Why was it changed? <clears throat> Ellis Island. Oh, fucking what's well, his name? Woodrow Wilson sure. and those those they people gave you a name. Huh? They gave well, yeah. I mean, not me. I mean, it was my yeah, great grandparents. Sure, yeah, yeah. I think it was uh, Shitoksky. Okay, from po- where? Poland. Poland. Yeah. Ah, you don't hear much about Poland. No, it's funny because when I had Fritz on the podcast, I was just like, Fritz, we got a lot to talk about right now because mm-hmm. you know he's from Germany. Well, he's not from oh. Germany. Yeah. So I didn't. I mean, I didn't enemies. like. I can't. <laughs> I can't blame him for the. For what happened no, to, yeah. to my people? Yeah, yeah. Well, um, well, J- Jacobs. Jacobs that's, yeah, that, are German you, Jews. German, are, are you Ashkenazi? Yes. Ah, mm-hmm. very good. I know. I so like that. We all got a taste of the life. Absolutely. What what did our what, what did Ari Shafir say? There's like there's the Ashkenazi, and then what's the other Jews? I don't know the other ones. Yeah, you just hear Ashkenazi. Well, his so grandma much. called him animals oh, really? so let's just call them the animal okay, jews then. Well, i'm happy i'm not one of the animal jews i mean me neither i, I hope i'm not an animal jew mm-hmm. yeah so john yeah how, how you doing how me. you doing I'm buddy doing good you know i just bombed out an open mic uh dunedin brewery yeah, dunedin brewery very nice place they have great wings but i'm yeah, not i had their uh pretzel poplars or something okay. like that like years like like actually like over a year ago i haven't been there in a while i uh actually, actually it was the first place i did an open mic like okay. like a year and a half ago and i bombed like yeah. crazy okay well, it's, yeah it's not too far from you <laughs> no not yeah not at all i uh yeah i didn't know that the um <clears throat> the list was random yeah because i remember i think i put i won like third because i had because i think i had like a we go to work at like four o'clock in the morning oh, and wow. i was like oh shit it's like midnight. Yeah. I haven't gone on. And then uh, John, yeah, John J, <clears throat> he was just like, oh, hey, my bad. We do a shuffle. Oh, I'm geez. like, fuck, all right, whatever. What, were, what work were you doing at 4 a.m.? I was working for a dog collar manufacturer. Wow. And they need you there at 4 a.m. You got to get the dog collars oh, out, man. I yeah. was a packing operator. Okay. Yeah, that was sure, a lot of fun. put dog collars in boxes. It was the fucking worst job. Well, actually, I've had worse jobs before, but this mm-hmm. took the cake. I liked it because four-day work week, 10-hour okay, days, which really wasn't bad sure, at all. Sure. So that way I had my my Friday, Saturday, Sundays off. Yeah. But yeah, it just, there wasn't no growth. Yeah. Well, so, yeah, so what, 4 a.m. to what, 2 p.m.? Four, like four, yeah. Two, Ooh. sometimes six to four. Sometimes five, uh, five to gross. five to three. Yeah, pretty terrible. gross. Seven to five. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, I've had. I mean, dude, I've had a job where I'd be at work at three a.m. That's I was, insane. Yeah, I was truck driving, and that was uh, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, okay. I had a. I did that. I did that for years. Actually, it was it wasn't bad. Yeah. But then I realized, fuck, I might. I think I might have taken like ten years off my life from truck driving. No, just oh. waking up so fucking oh. early in the morning, yeah, like probably... like in like four hours of sleep, and yeah. I and then I'm like, fuck, like yeah, that'll probably mess with you a little yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah, I'll sleep ten, twelve hours. It's still not enough. No, <laughs> I'm still very tired. I might have AIDS though, or something. AIDS, probably. A, I don't know. What else makes you really tired? I guess AIDS. I don't know. Like that's what comes to mind. <laughs> Yeah, what is this podcast about? How many episodes of this have you done? Oh my god, I had a, I had an old podcast when I was on TikTok a long time ago. What happened to TikTok? I got banned. You like, got banned like five times for what? For being fucking me. Oh my god. Yeah, I yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't I don't know what I did. I just fucking yeah. I don't know. Just told a joke and they didn't like it. I mean, oh, I didn't geez. say any I didn't say any bad words. Yeah. I didn't say anything like 
racist hmm. or anything. I but was they just, just didn't like your jokes. Huh? They, they probably didn't like me. Yikes. I don't know. Too hot for TikTok. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's the bust the popular thing. You know, yeah, you, you got you got to you, you got to be hot. I'm doing you know? well on TikTok. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I think I do follow you. Well, I I have like a burner account, which sure. I, okay, I, so I, I kind of like just somewhere. I'm in there somewhere. I just because I I had an account, did really well, got banned, mm-hmm. tried it again, got banned again. <laughs> well, the you. second time I got banned was because I did a, a funny video of. Uh, Little Nas X's, um, you know the one music video where he's in the shower naked with a bunch of guys. Yes, I uh, great, yeah, great yeah, I pretended I dropped the soap on my first oh, day of prison. Hilarious. I'm like, dude, it's fucking great. Yeah, I yeah. get the I get, like first day of prison. I dropped the soap, boom, all dancing, like right? ten gay ten gay black guys. Oh, I was great. like, that's a fucking dream right there. So they just I didn't then like that, huh? no, they just oh, I mean I I told them look I I tried appealing and I said I'm bisexual, ah. which I'm not. They go prove it. Yeah, they want to <laughs> like they prove you're bisexual. Yeah, prove and I'm like, well, that's why I got John on the podcast. Yeah, that's we're what gonna, I'm here for. oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, that didn't, that that didn't work out. And uh, sure. yeah, cheat time, cheat absolutely. Time. So then that. after that, oh, don't worry about it. And then um, so then I tried it again over the su- over well yeah summertime mm-hmm. and uh, it's doing pretty fucking good. And then um, I. I stitch one of do you know do you know the comedian slash TikToker Che Dorena? Yes. Yeah, light skin black guy. Yes. He, he did makes a show he, here recently. Yeah. It, oh oh yeah. It? Oh yeah. He mm-hmm. did. Yeah. yeah he did a show at the Improv. Oh fuck. Good for him. Mm-hmm. Um. But um. Yeah. He made he made a video where I stitched and I, I was kind of calling him out for being a creep. And oh, really? then I got fucking banned Ooh, for that nice. video. <laughs> yeah. what, did, what did he do? Um. It was a video of this girl who was wearing really short a really short dress and her um pussy not not like full pussy but it was like a um out like a, her underpants was showing sure and he stitches and he's like what area of your body were you looking i know you're looking somewhere and then i'm like well what area of your body were you looking there che mm-hmm. and then i got fucking banned for that weird yeah and i was in almost uh, I, almost the exact followers I was when I had my first count, like almost 200k, and I was just like, "What the fuck?" Damn. And then, and then finally, YouTube Shorts out of nowhere, and just YouTube in general has just been fucking great. Yeah, YouTube yeah. Shorts is pretty cool. Yeah, they're they're, they're doing not a. Us yet, though. They will be. I know, they they, they will be. That. They're gonna they keep be putting up shit. January. There's there's a um. They're doing a thing. It's kind of like the creator fund that TikTok did years yeah. ago. Yeah. But I think this time they're actually gonna put ads. On, okay. on the creator, on creator short, uh, short, short creators. Yeah, I'd love that. Wait, sh- wait, short creators. I mean, it's gonna be a bunch of midgets gonna be yeah, making it's new a bunch content. Of little, little people making. I mean, content. we're we're definitely That'll not be the first sketch on the. I, 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 I like how you had to say little people when I said midget. You're, you're like <laughs> you're like you're like Scotty. I'm staying non canceled. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very true. I mean, I can be. Make sure I'm looking at the levels. My mic's on it. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, you're good. Mm, oh yeah, you're good. That's the secondary one. Is audio play? No, it's all in the same uh, vicinity. Okay. So yeah, we're 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 doing yeah. good. So yeah, midget videos. <laughs> yeah, you can't say them. But yeah, that's the the words. m the m words. The m words. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's like the John Mulaney joke. He had something about yeah. that, right? Oh, he did say something like yeah. that. Yeah. Or oh, was it Brad Williams? I don't know. You know Brad Williams? Yeah, I know yeah, Brad yeah, he's great. I think they both. Maybe they both did. Maybe I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, so John, yeah, how, how long have you been doing stand up for, man? Fifteen years. Wow, Whoa. yeah, because I, I was actually about to ask it you, yeah, because we're, we're you doing now? Term. Oh, wait, so yeah. wait, how, how old are you? Thirty three. So well, I started so at eighteen. Fuck yeah, you're young. I know, yeah, because I saw the one uh, video that you shared when you were like ten. Oh, sure, playing yeah. stop motion on a camcorder yeah, yeah, i love that a 10, yeah. yeah dude it's so funny because when i saw that that reminded me so much of me and my brother when yeah. we used to make porno videos wait once kid no nope. yeah, yeah. On, on old camcorders oh, no we used yeah. to make survivor videos where we okay. pre- we pretended to be survivor characters sure. and we would vote each other out and stuff oh, and make funny. like funny comments. i wish i could find that yeah that's yeah. Uh, that god it's like on old vhs tapes and yeah, stuff yeah it's cool to see that stuff but yeah at this point it's just I'm like, oh my god! But 15 years, so dude. Long. Your your comedy career is a generation, if you think about it. It is 15. Years. 15 I know, my yeah. Because I was about to ask that. Yeah, were you doing stand up before the the MTV shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I started as a senior in high school. Fuck yeah, dude. And yeah, my comedy can almost drive now. Your yeah, almost your your com- your comedy's like a sophomore in high school. And it'll drink. Yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah, it's like, and then it's gonna then end. it's gonna change its gender, and yeah, then you're gonna be like, look, me. like look, career, you know, like. I love you. You're me and your mom yeah. love you, but you know, 
You're getting crazy. You're get- <laughs> oh shit. Oh no. It, it's okay. Oh. It's just my it's just my desktop. Okay, it's, but it's still recording. Again? Yeah, it's still oh, recording. Okay. So it just shut down for a second. Wow. I'll tell you what, dude. I, I was doing a podcast with my girlfriend, just uh-huh. for shits and giggles. Yeah. And she moved my um my mixer. She touched your mixer. She touched my mixer. Uh-huh. But you know what she did by touching my mixer? Uh-huh. She mo- she moved up all the, the fucking oh, two no. <laughs> volume yeah, yeah. pedals right here. Sure. And I didn't. I because fucked up the rest. Yeah, because I I don't because normally oh, I funny. don't do, mic check whenever I do like a video or like a podcast sure. or whatever because I know what I have. I yeah, I, I yeah. know I know my standards. And then all of a sudden, yeah, I go to I go to uh, get ready to just to edit and just check it out. And then I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I'm like, dude, what the fuck? Yeah, and that's uh, why she's not here right now. <laughs> I kicked her out. She's, gone, yeah, you, she's actually in Colorado. Oh yeah. Yeah, fucking family or something. No, she's on a work trip. Oh, yeah. Exciting. Yeah, she's. Uh, Did you make dog she's... <laughs> Call back, hello. <laughs> yeah. No, she's a nanny, like an all pair, whatever the oh, fuck. Cool. Yeah, she. So um, that family's gone somewhere. Yeah. Well, yeah, she's with them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and they, they're in Avon, Colorado. Okay. She says it's really cold. Sure. And I'm like, good, stay there. I, yeah. I, well, I mean, I love no, I love you, stay but there. I don't like the cold. No, no, fuck that. Yeah, I mean, I was just in D.C. It was freezing. Oh, oh yeah, fifteen and degrees. I hated it. I, I was, I was D.C. Other than being cold, was it nice? I don't know. I don't, did you see? Did you see Biden? Yeah, I saw Biden. Did he fall off his bike? He did fall off his bike. Yeah, he did, did you? A unicycle. Uh, Unis, wow, yeah. that's that's great. Yeah, I don't know if that's Biden. great right there. Good Biden. old Biden, good old Joey Joe. B. Uh, spe- speaking of uh, politics, you know who I, you know who almost wanted to come on the podcast tonight oh, too, who? Patrick. A Welsh. Yeah, yeah, because oh yeah, because he uh, Patrick he, 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 a psychopath. I, I love. Him. I love that man so fucking much. He, I don't know how he's still alive. Honestly, <laughs> the shit he says on a daily basis, I'm like, yeah, how the fuck is this guy still alive? I I think he. Uh, it's insane. I think he's a wizard. Not wizard, but like, you know, uh, the wizard, not like, you know, like a virgin th- at 30 wizard, because clearly yeah. he's not a virgin. I just yeah. think he's got some magic powers to the point where it makes him impervious to Maybe. being canceled. I mean, well, there, there's nothing to cancel because he doesn't mm. have anything. He's got Twitch, but uh, that, that's, pretty, that's pretty much it. You know, he yeah. doesn't have... Uh, yeah, he's got the the it's rumble. I mean, I I told him like forever ago he needs to go on a rumble, and and I think he finally sure. did because he actually messaged me if, okay. if I if if I'm subbed to his rumble. I said I've been subbed to your rumble, That's dude. Nice. I've been I'm waiting for you to fucking. Waiting for be, to I'm something. waiting for you to fucking just go like Alex Jones times four, where you're yeah. just like. The guy from the Bengals. Exactly. Wait, the, the Bills. The Bills. Yeah. He. Why did he just collapse? You know. Yeah, no. Of course, I'm sure. I'm surprised he hasn't talked about that yet. Did anyone talk about that tonight? At the at, at a comedian at, did. One oh, yeah? person talked about it. What did they say? They said his last name was Hamlin. I yeah, yeah. Was it like they, he goes Trayvon uh, Hamlin? Uh, oh fuck! That, that's Damar. That's not George Hamlin. Oh yeah, my god. It was a Damar Hamlin, and he said. And I don't think he'll care that I burn his joke because it should never be said again anyway. Yeah, say he, it. He goes, isn't it funny that Hamlin, or no, isn't it funny that hamburger <laughs> is a meat, but Hamlin is a vegetable? <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah, and nobody laughed. Yeah, I figured. Hey, hey, that, that's Dunedin for you, man. Dunedin yeah. Brewery. Yeah, they're very woke little woke over a there. Guy who got. Knocked out yesterday. In the hospital. <laughs> yeah, I I didn't realize how woke uh, the brewery was. I think I'm, I yeah, think one of the first jokes I made there was uh, I, I think I made like a Fauci joke where I was just like, "What's the difference between a proctologist and Fauci?" Well, yeah, what's that? One's a doctor who uh, of the asshole, and the other one's an asshole who thinks he's a doctor. Hey. And yeah, no, no. One but it's funny because there was a guy wearing a mask there too, and I was just like, "I hope uh, you got a kick out of it." But I was just like, oh, "Fuck," you know. Yeah. I tried. Well, that's it. You that's know, all we hey, can do. Hey, like, like what you said, you know, ta- comedy is about taking risks. Yeah, comedy is about taking risks. Emo I'm, baby, my big famous joke. Goo goo ga ga. Yeah, that's why I made. That's why I made the story with some with Good Charlotte because I was just like, yeah, you know what? Like, I'm a lover of pop punk. Uh-huh. Clearly, you are as well too. I so, I, was so. Just, I, I thought you like pop punk. I don't know anything about it. I just made goo goo ga. Oh, man, I don't, I don't <laughs> give a shit about anything. <laughs> I just thought you, it was you don't a like funny my chemical romance. I've never heard one song they've ever done. Really? Nope. No idea who they are, what they do. Really? What, what, kind, what kind of music do you like? Rap and techno. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Hey, I like I like all kinds of music. Yeah, I like anything, but I mean, I don't know. I just didn't grow up listening to any of that, so I just never really gave it a chance. Well, my brother was a big Green Day fan, so mm-hmm. I remember when American Idiot came out, I was just like, Mom, I don't know why, but I Put really it. I really don't like sure. you anymore. Okay. <laughs> 
stuff. Yeah, because, you know, it's just one of those albums. Just like I think it was I think it was one of the first songs I heard the word fuck. Oh wow! Because sure. subliminal mind, fuck America. I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah, fuck America. I'm 12, and I don't know why I hate America. I saw the right Green now. Day musical. Do you know he has a musical? No, no. Yeah, the main guy or whatever, Billy. Billy Joe. Joel he made Armstrong. A about his life, kind of. Uh, it was all right. It was done by like a college theater group. They were pretty good. So, good for them. I'm happy for so them. So go see the Green Day musical. That's what I'm here to promote. I'm gonna yes. There you go. Yeah, I should I should go look that up tonight. It's many years old, but I, I'm just many it's many still years old. Many many years old. Yeah. I well, I remember someone was just like I guess there's a big festival. Like emo pop punk okay. bands from like that era, like Chiodos right. and Green Day and the fucking My Chemical Romance. They're doing like a big festival called When We Were Young out in okay. Vegas. And I'm just like, here's the thing about our generation, the millennials. They can't hold on to the, f- they, 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 they have to keep holding on to the past. Sure. That's the problem. They got to let stuff go at times, you know? Yeah. Because yeah, have you noticed whenever like a millennial is always on like Instagram, they see like a celebrity from their time and they're like, you made my childhood. <laughs> it's like, look, you know, yeah. I, I like, it's like, yeah, don't get me wrong. Like, you know, it's, it was fun to begin with, but it's just like, gotta move on. Yeah. You gotta move on. That's life. Yeah. I mean, I love the Fast and Furious guys. And I drank, really? I drank Corona. Until I, I was like 28, just because Vin Diesel drank it in the movie. <laughs> I he, I can never get into those movies. Well, you know, they're all positive. They're all about family and shit. You know. Well, yeah, that's I know the memes where Vin Diesel oh, yeah. talking about family. Yeah, it's all cool. I, I know Paul Walker before he oh, expo- before he exploded. I know, poor Paul. I know before he blew up. Yeah, he's on fire. Yeah. Yeah, Paul, man. The conspiracies around Paul. They're like, oh, Yeah, he I've heard some stop, pretty he wanted to stop making the movies, so they killed him. I, I've heard some pretty fucking Which wild conspiracy probably, theories. Yeah. Like I, I heard like <sighs> he would like say he fucking was like cursed or something. Cursed. Yeah, wow. and I um there's a yeah, dude, there's I, I, don't get me wrong, I love conspiracies. They're just yeah. real they're really fun to get into, but there are times where I'm just like that one, that one can stay oh, away sure. from the public eye, yeah, you mean, know. I'm sure, most of them are worthless. <laughs> what's what's your favorite conspiracy? My favorite theory? conspiracy? Yeah. Um. Well, one of them I love recently. They call it the law of the law of opposites. Law of opposites. And they said whatever you put out into the world, the opposite is gonna happen, just because that's the law of balance. So they're like, when they put out, you know, the secret, which is like the law of attraction, like you know manifest things into your life yeah they said for every good thing you manifest into your life you're also manifesting something bad into someone else's life because that's fucking that's fucking that's fucking hilarious because perfect see everybody's like i want this and this and it's like well that's why there's all these (laughs) slaves in other countries making shit now because you manifested a good life for (laughs) you what if like a slave in another country manifests good things and then someone in a first world country yeah goes to shit you know first world country gets murdered in idaho oh i haven't done a lot of research about that because i don't get i don't give a fuck about idaho and it's and it's funny because it's funny because my my girlfriend's my girlfriend's mom was saying like she wants to move to idaho and like own like a farm and i'm like okay. why like the only thing that's good about idaho was napoleon dynamite which i oh, watched the other day yeah oh, yeah wow. idaho uh, i watched it the other day and then after that i watched the new brendan fraser movie the whale oh yeah oh my god how was that i cried yeah I, I i actually teared up at the end man it was like like of course the, the story was great I don't want to spoil it because, you know, I don't want, obviously, that's... The story is great. To dick, that guy's to, stuck at home and then he wants to meet his daughter or whatever. Yeah, that's a great fucking that's story, story right there. I want to meet it's, my it's, daughter it's, it's and more, also I'm fat. Wow. It's, it's Where more, do they come up with this? It's more It's more than that, John. Does he's, a mummy show up at the end? He does. Emotape yeah? shows up and he oh, says, yeah. you too fat. You go, you go down to hell with me. Does he ever say I hate mummies? He says that in every mummy movie. Well, he said he's yeah, he does. He says Great I. Line. He actually says I hate mummies because yeah, he says, I hate mummies because, because well, thing. spoiler alert. Do you care if I spoil no, it? No. He's he's actually a gay guy in the movie. Oh wow! So he clearly hates mummies. Yeah, wow, he's a gay. 
big gay fat guy. Big gay. Actually, in the beginning wow. of the movie, he's jerking off the gay porn. Oh wow! And, really? ha- and has a heart attack while doing it. Oh my god! And then, and then this fucking this this um like Jehovah's Witness comes in and he's just like, oh my god! He's just like, Ugh. unbelievable! Ugh. And I'm like, dang, this fucking movie's great. Well, that's you know? how you win an Oscar now. I mean, he's he is up for an Oscar, Brendan yeah, Fraser. Exactly. But it was good though. It was wow. it was very good. That's art right there. A- absolutely. Normally, a fat guy jerking off to gay porn. People would go, I don't want to watch that. But, but but Hollywood did their magic. Well, Hollywood, you know, they... And now jerking off to gay porn. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Looks frozen. Oh, oh there, there we go. go. Perfect. So I know. I'm just going to hold on to the mouse like God this. God forbid we miss the jerking off gay, <laughs> fat gay guy talk. <laughs> Welcome back to fat gay jerk off hour. With your host, Scotty Chi, mm-hmm. and my hands for the night, Mr. John Jacobs. That's right. Yeah. You can't see where my hand is. It's doing something. Oh, yeah, look at that. Wow. We're doing that Dutch rudder. Yeah, the, the yeah. Dutch, yeah, yeah. Not Dutch, Dutch rudder. Yeah, it's not gay if someone else moves your arm. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but nothing's gay anymore anyway. That's the whole point. Oh, no. It's, gay I mean, it's good. It's very, if you're every, not gay, you don't go to heaven. Exactly. If you're not gay, you can't graduate school. Exactly. You have to have a certain amount of hours you gotta, being gay. You got to have a certain amount of prolapse in your oh, anus as well. Darn. Yes. Yeah. You ha- yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you can't be squatting any fucking weights. You gotta you gotta get it penetrated. Yeah. That's how it works. Luckily, I found a loophole where I just identify as gay without doing any of the gay stuff, oh. and people have to accept that, or they're racist. So, yeah. How do you think? How do you think got on MTV? You know? Yeah. How do you think I got on MTV? <laughs> yeah, I actually am. I'm writing something right now. Yeah. I run a fake news organization called Tampa News Force. Check it out. It's a great fucking. Please, Tampa News Force. It's, like, it's fucking great. So uh, I have a question. What are you gonna do with that? Whenever you are you still gonna it's run still, that one oh, here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Still, I, I was oh, gonna yeah. ask. Still yeah. Gonna make content for that till the day I die. Hell yeah! I, and, lo- um, I love that shit. But man. yeah, I'm I'm writing something right now, which is uh, sex acts to help your Hollywood career ranked. Yeah, that's every yeah. Fucking it actress, starts at hand jobs, you know, hand job that'll get you on a commercial, probably a talking spot or whatever. Blow job, you know, sitcom, get a speaking part in a sitcom. Sex, you can be in a movie. Mm-hmm. Sodomy, that's how you get the Oscar. It's it's very well proven and documented. How do you think you know? If you our- let somebody fuck you in the ass. You get a gold statue. How do you think Harvey Weinstein, I mean, like, he had to do it first, and now he's doing it to other, well, not anymore, but he did it to other people. Rest in peace, Harvey. No, he's he's alive still. Yeah, he's still alive. I know, but he's in prison. Yeah. I know. What kind of world do we live in? Well, I saw, it was the year before the Will Smith one, they said the Oscars had the lowest ratings it had ever gotten. Yeah, and of course they used Will Smith. Yeah, to boost it back up. I think that was staged. 100%. 100%, But maybe, but... uh, Probably staged unintentionally. The way like his the joke, focus movie like was the made. joke Chris Rock made they about put Jada it Pinkett. His head. It's really eh, not yeah, that it's funny. Just a, it's it's a great cheap hack joke or whatever. But yeah, it's awesome. I think they just implanted that into Will Smith's head. It was like you see the movie Focus he did yeah. about gambling. Yeah, he probably had a full day leading up to that of small subtle things like pushing him towards slapping a guy in the face. So he was probably subtly influenced throughout the day of like you're gonna slap this guy in the face. <laughs> But um, yeah, the year before that, it was the lowest rated Oscars ever. And I read that and I felt bad for everyone who had been sodomized because I go, well, what's the point of getting <laughs> fucked in the ass if nobody's going to care about my statue ceremony? You got a good point. They it's d- a shame. Bohemian more growth. People need to, well, yeah, more people need to watch the Oscars so these people can feel validated. Like I said, Bohemian Grove. Yeah, Bohemian Grove. I know the place with the owls and all that. The shit. owls and the children, and fucking apparently, I, I, I think time. I think I heard there's a story where Henry Kissinger was getting like his asshole licked by like, I, th- I think it was fucking uh, Eisenhower or something oh, like wow. that. And I'm like, that's fucking awesome. And even uh, Richard what a collab. Yeah, that's a great collab right mm-hmm. there. Even Richard Nixon. Uh, commented on it like back in the 80s back way after he was president yeah he said something about it yeah he said i went to that bohemian grove back in 19 like 56 i know it's a long time it was one of the most out of yeah. context everybody the most faggiest thing i've ever seen Whoa. Hey, oh cancel cancel burr, 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 burr. Look, there it goes this is lo- <laughs> welcome back to locker room talk welcome welcome back to joe biden circa 2008 joe B. i know uh, yeah good old biden yeah, he's been doing it forever i love career politicians good for them They've made a career of it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, like, why do you? Why do people want to become politicians? It's like, do you just want it to become hated? Question. You know, it's just like I want to be hated by so many people, 
So well, I'm gonna become a politician. I think, it's, you know? I think it's usually like moments when they're a kid or something, and they're just able to rally like their friends around something. Just probably something happens in a classroom, and they're like, "Hey, you know, you said we're not supposed to have homework tonight," and all the other kids are probably like, "Yeah, yeah, you said we're not so." And then they just got a taste of influence and power. They're like, "Oh, I can like rally a room full of people. I can just use this towards whatever I want." Because that's pretty much all it is. It's like, do you have the personality to? Get a room full of people to do whatever you tell them. So you mean though? to tell me that every politician was like a popular Chad with a nice Basically. with a nice big chin yes. and and big oh dude every single one big dick energy pretty 100%. much dude, yeah dude Fauci was on his school basketball team <laughs> was he really yeah Fauci was like a star point guard he's what? a jock what oh yeah I, I every politician is secretly a piece of shit cool <laughs> kid which is, but that's why it's yeah AOC's great too hot chick the. Everything it yeah. just goes full circle. Yeah, AOC was definitely the one chick that like was class president. Definitely fucked the principal to give her some power in the school. AOC for sure. dressed like a whore, and she'd go, "This is my right, and I do it for me." And they're like, "All right, whatever you say, lady." I think one of the funniest things ever was when she was pretending to get arrested, and then she goes oh, like she, this immediately. She pretended to get arrested. You never, you never saw that. No. Yeah, she was getting escorted by police with her hands behind her oh, back, and then, and then literally the next frame later, she just goes like this. Pulls her Does the the black the black lives matter thing? Yeah, Good. absolutely. I love know? all politics. I love all people. Mm-hmm. I love the system. Best one in the world. Absolutely. I like groups of people that can do whatever they want unchecked. I think that's cool. Absolutely. I think it's, yeah, I think it's a cool deal. For people to get rich off of, you know, doing favors for people. Oh, it's absolutely. It's a side hustle, you know? Everybody has to have a side hustle. Politician pay isn't that much. No. But, it, you, you know, you do get a lot of money when you say, sure, yeah, you know, you can build a factory. Yeah, I mean, AOC was about. complaining about, you know, taxing the rich when her uh-huh. salary is about, what, 200000 I mean, that's not a lot. No. That's not a that's lot, nothing. especially in being in Congress. Yeah. And then, you know... She also has a really big social media account. I mean, she's probably selling merch, you know. So oh, she's yeah. really she's probably pulling in a couple million a year. So it's really not that much. No, you know? yeah, you gotta fly to these islands to have orgies. That's oh, ex- not oh, cheap. Ex- oh, exactly. I mean, like because usually you know commercial flights don't even go to these little islands. No, you have to charter some sort of private jet. No, they they have they have to go on those little boats like you know in Pinocchio yeah. where they go to Pleasure Island. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah and then where they drink the water become donkeys. Exactly. But but the water is actually semen. Yes, but you know they can't operate the world without doing these things. Mm-hmm. So this is just a cost that needs to be paid. Absolutely, you know, we we wouldn't have a good system if people couldn't you know go to islands and have you know slaves do whatever they tell them to do. <laughs> people need yeah. Yeah, need to I, fuck uh, with you. There's a good there's a good joke. I remember I uh, I heard it was talking about like Bill Clinton and. Uh, and uh, yeah, Bill, what the fuck is his name? Epstein going golfing uh-huh. on the island, mm-hmm. but it wasn't 18 holes. Hey. It, was, it was under 18 holes. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I can't believe this podcast exists. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, how how yeah. many of these have you made? Oh, oh yeah, you asked me that asked question. That. So, in my old one. Uh huh. So, yeah, which, what, got canceled? Or no, it didn't get canceled. Oh, I, I just stopped, just stopped, I just stopped doing it. Well, I, uh, I moved down here. Uh huh. My TikTok got deleted, and yeah. then I just kind of just this lost touch of it. Okay. Yeah, that was called Mark of the Beast. Okay. As well wow. Too. Yeah. Even I mean, more fucking, symbolic. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I got a lot of fucking. So cheat time. How many cheat times have there been? I would say like I think you're number forty six. Oh, forty seven. Because I I brought it back last year with my good buddy Mikey Daga. Uh huh. Yeah. He's a he's an awesome guy. Kind of. What happened to him? Oh, he's he's still around. He lives in Sarasota with his with his new fiance. Gotcha. So we mostly do it on Zoom okay. because Mikey doesn't want to come see me. Yeah, it's far. It is yeah, far. Yeah. I mean, it's only like an hour. I mean, well, I'm originally from Ocala, which is North Florida, right near Gainesville. He, and we went to high school together. We okay. lost touch. It, nothing like personal. It was just I did my thing. He did his thing. I, I mm-hmm. thought he died actually because oh, he, he was off Facebook for years. Oh yikes. And then he adds me on Facebook, and I'm like, "You son of a bitch, uh-huh. how you doing?" Yeah, and yeah. then we uh, just reconnected, and I'm like, "Hey, I forgot you're funny as hell." We used to That's like make nice. we, we used to like joke around, and make fun of people in school. Yeah. So I'm like, "Let's why don't we do that on a podcast?" And yeah. he's just like, "You son of a bitch, I'm in." That's nice. And yeah. Yeah, I so, like doing podcasts because I assume just from saying this kind of stuff, mm-hmm. you know, an untimely death will certainly fall upon me. Yeah, so it was it's nice to get out as much as I can yeah. as proof that I did exist at some point. 
Well, we're lucky you did exist, John. Thank you. I'm happy you exist too. I appreciate that. That's good. You're about to make me blush, Aww. and because I, I already I look flush already yeah, all you the do. time. Yeah, I, uh, it's, all the time. Yeah, I don't. You, and it's funny. I'm not an alcoholic. You look like Santa's kid. Every, well, look at my the, fucking hair. It's know, turning white too, of, man. I, you're gonna take over for dad soon. <laughs> that's that's good. That's the plan. Whenever yeah. I right now, you're I'm, raising the reindeer. I, no, I'm I'm also raising the reindeer. I'm yeah. I uh, every year you're like, can I ride here's along a thing, with you, Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. Not Claus yet, is my son. stepmom, actually. Hey, John. okay. She's my stepmom. So you fuck her? I did for a little Calm bit. Calm down her but chimney. The, but the problem is, I come really fast. Okay. Yeah. Whose problem is that? I think my dad's problem. You know, because okay. he he probably he think he passed it on to me. It's it's a Claus There's thing. There's no such thing as it, too fast. It's That's a it's say. a Kringle thing. You know, I come to it takes me too long to come. Really? But that's only just because I don't like them. <laughs> My New Year's resolution is to start having sex with people I'm attracted to. And I think I can get there. You. You're there. You're there. No, they're very beautiful people. Absolutely. But, yeah. yeah but that doesn't mean I feel anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I'm going to fall in love one day. I hope you do. I hope I, I do. You know, love, I've been in love before, but love it's is... never worked. Oh yeah, weren't you on? Weren't you love with, with that, that one was on girl? the TV show? Yeah, yeah. But no, so, I, I so t- t- tell me about that. I never really asked you about that. How'd you? Like how'd you get? TV in, stuff? Yeah, how'd you get involved with that shit? Um, I applied for the Real World. I didn't get it, oh. and then they just called me one day and they said, "You want to do a different show? We haven't made yet." And I oh. go, "Okay." They didn't tell us anything about it. They just go, "You're going to go to Hawaii." I said, "All oh, right." Oh, fuck. And then they told us on the first episode, like live on camera, what the show was, which mm-hmm. is hilarious, because you know the fact that all these people did it without knowing what it is. It's like, look at all these, you know, all these hungry, just, yeah, fame-starved children <laughs> who are like, we'll do anything. Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, you know, free trip to Hawaii, that's great. So Fuck it. Like, and, oh, and, yeah. and you're on TV. You yeah, we're fucking... on TV. What up, y'all? Yeah, everybody yep. on the show thought they were going to be famous. It was so great. We're going to be famous. And I'm like, I'm talking to him. I'm like, but what do you do? I'm like, you don't have any sort of talent. Yeah, we, what? Yeah, weren't you like the only one that I was, was the like. the only one who did anything. Yeah, yeah exactly. I'm like, yeah. I'm a comedian. I'm like, I can do something. And what what, are, what did everyone else do? They were just like, hey, nothing. I'm attractive. Yes. So I think I should get money oh, yeah. because I'm attractive. 100%. They're all like, yeah, yeah like, I'm a, oh, I have a good personality. It's like, that's I mean, not a job. It's kind of like, it's kind of like the Jersey Shore people. I mean, yeah. like. They thought it would be like that. Well. But those people actually got it. Yeah, they did. I mean, like the only, on the only one who yeah, they they are, but the show family vacation. I, I think it's run its course. Oh yeah, because it's it comes back once a year for the family vacation. Yeah, they're like seniors at this point. They're yeah, like I think Paul, Paul and Easley got to be like fifty by now. Oh yeah, these fuckers are old. And and I think most of them are like they got sober. Kids and shit. They got yeah, kids. they don't party. No, like yeah, it's funny. I mean, but. But they still want it badly. And MTV, I mean, at this point, it does feel just like, how long can these people be on TV? Now it's just like a game of like, can we put I mean, them are on the, TV when are they mar- fucking Are they 60? marketable still, though? I mean, like, I don't know. like. Well, it's just like, cause this me, one's like the stuff. It's like golden oldies on the radio. Are, is it, are, are like, they still even, is it still associated with MTV? Next, we're going to have is, the situation. Yeah, it's still MTV. Yeah, because I thought it was like... Oh like, yeah, like a, like a different like nope, still MTV or something like that. I don't know. Still, yeah, super embarrassing. Yeah, it's just like how long can people be a mess? Yeah, because like you know, yeah, a few of them like sober up or whatever and get it together. But in, instead of just like being a mess with alcohol, now it's like they're a mess with their marriage. So it's like <laughs> their um, their marriage is collapsing. This is fun. Have you was there ever like a uh, like an M, big a big MTV party like you ever attended to where there was like a bunch of MTV alumni at no, like one really. room and stuff? Because I was gonna I was gonna ask like no yeah it's, it's like I, if I were you I would have like hung out with the Teen Mom girls and oh, stuff sure. yeah I would have loved to meet some of these people but dude, I didn't dude get to. like though they're fucking messes too I think like one of them did porn yes yeah which is yeah hilarious and now, yeah now she's like rich. And now her and now her daughter's probably about to do porn as oh, well too, sure. even though she's probably like fifteen. I mean, yeah, same age as your comedy career if you yeah. think about it. You know, daughter of the teen mom. Yeah, it's teen, fucking teen teen. teen mom. Oh my god! Yeah, one of them's gonna. I bet you anything. MTV is gonna be like one of you kids has to get pregnant so that way the yeah. legacy of of teen mom will live yeah, on. Teen all right. So yeah, teen grandmom. That would be good. But um, yeah. I mean, it's it's like a fun game of. Making people rich and famous yeah. who are the complete opposite of who should be. Mm-hmm. Like the bad baby girl. 
Well, it's like I remember being a kid and the big thing in church, the scared message was like, oh, they're trying to turn kids into gangsters and porn stars. Those are like the two things they said we were going to turn into. Yeah. And, I, ba- I, I yeah, and that, Bad yeah. Baby is like literally like a Example. gangster porn star. Dude, you, you see what she looks like now? She changed her skin to look black now. Like yeah, she, she kind of looks like Cardi cool. B a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I want... yeah, so it's awesome. It's like, yeah. yeah, anybody who's like an absolute train wreck. Plus, you know, it's fun to give dumb people a shitload of money because they know it's not a real threat. You know? It's kind of like YouTube as well, too. I mean, because for years, like, YouTube was marketing off of, like, drama and stuff like there's always like the the paul Bo- the paul brothers and like sure. doing all these fucking like you know things to get attention like that one guy filming the suicide forest and stuff sure. yeah but yeah anytime you do anything that's actually valuable that's mm-hmm. when you get stopped i remember uh young thug it was like his birthday last year yeah and some somebody gifted him so it's not even really his fault but somebody gifted him like i don't know a thousand acres in the middle of like georgia to like start his own city Oh. And Young Thug was going to start his own city. And I saw this and I was like, oh, he's going to, they're just going to stop him because they're like, they don't want anybody to own land. <laughs> that's like the big thing. Just you're not allowed to own land because that's like their deal. Yeah. So seeing Young Thug get like a thousand acres, I was like, oh, they're just going to stop this. Mm-hmm. And then now he's in fucking prison and everything he's ever going to have is going to go away. What a Young Thug do? Well, he's. They said he was like the leader of a gang who like killed people and you know ordered hits on people, which he did. Wasn't but they like, overlook all this shit until it's convenient. Didn't that Takashi Six Nine guy like do something like that? He like, just snitched on everybody. Ah, Takashi didn't do anything. Ah, he was just he. He was like he was never a gangster and he just pretended to be. But and everybody he was with was real gangsters. So that was like his trick, because he was just like some bum. I'm so glad like like him and like those island boys like. They, the record company figured Island out that boys. these guys aren't talented, oh, so sure. they just went up there. They're like, "Hey, we can write a song for you guys. Just g- give you guys a little bit of editing, and then we can make you guys marketable." Oh, sure. And then when they did their first performance and bomb like yeah, fucking crazy, shit, yeah, awful. it's it's awful. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, it's oh, it's amazing. It's just like it's watching. Yeah, it's like watching but like they, a, like a bag affect of them shit at all. on fire. No, I they mean get like food and shit, and they're like, "We did great." Like <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah, you can see comedians bomb and get off stage and be like, it's pretty, I did pretty good tonight. Oh, yeah. Oh, and dude. And it's like, how crazy are you? It's like, everybody uh, just watched you eat shit. Oh, dude. I'm, I'm still uh, like, I uh, think I got it going on. I think I'm going to, it's like, oh, yeah. I, I, I think Dave Chappelle's going to call me very soon. Yeah. E- even though this guy just threw a fucking shoe at me for. Oh, dude, I love it. Yeah. New people, too. I mean, because it does take a while in stand up before people, like, oh, yeah. you know, realize that it's not gonna work immediately it's t- oh it's tough but man. yeah there's so many people who are like one year in two years in or whatever and they're like when am i gonna headline i should be headlining you see that's see that's me because i don't care about headlining okay right right now at all so, i mean yeah, exactly, I, I, right? i'm like i'm like i'm like you know almost two years in uh-huh. and i'm like look headlining is very it's a, it's a huge responsibility because yeah, people are coming so. there to see you oh yeah and you know you're you, you got you got to have a good solid hour of material you got to make sure you know like yeah i mean you could do some crowd work and other yeah. shit you know like yeah because i mean yeah i mean i would watch like you or even yeah, like yeah. other like you know big headliners and shit and i'd be like fuck like like god damn like you know how these guys do it i and i'm just like let me suck your dick. I'm just kidding. I was, try, I was trying to say something, That's but I am. Uh, nice. But no, I'm That's just. I'm, I'm just went. like, and and I'm like, I'm in no rush. I'm having fun. Yeah, exactly. Like I, I am literally the way to be. Yeah, like no rush. Yeah, man. I, I've here forever. I've met some awesome people. I fucking you know. I love writing jokes. I love just. Yeah. I love creating content. You know. I am in no rush to yeah, fucking to headline anywhere right yeah, now. I just being a guest spot guy, being a feature guy. Sure, that's fucking Hell like yeah. let's let's rock and roll. Yeah, like if, if we can get some laughs in, bump some mics. Boom. Boom yeah. boom skeet skeet. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I, I, because I've just gotten back to stand up. I didn't, I didn't do stand up for two weeks because I, I oh, went yeah. home and then I got back and was kind of sick. So yeah, yeah I, I, you know, this is my first week back and uh, oh yeah, yeah, I um feels <clears throat> weird and I don't know. I took I a little like break at, during the holidays as well. I, I did um <clears throat> one more uh, get. I did a guest spot at Snappers and then I was just like, I'm gonna just chill for a little bit that was fun when we got to be at snappers together that was a lot of fun yeah Yeah. that that we 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 killed that room 
Angelo Chanfroco. He he, he gave he gave me his top. he gave me his phone number. Dude, he was the nicest yeah, guy. Yeah, he in the was world. so fucking funny. Yeah, it was the first time I ever met the guy. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna end up in New York soon enough. Yeah. And he's like, he's like, hey, you know, take my number and uh, you know, if things ever don't work out and you're stuck up there stranded, or whatever, he goes, call me, and I'll take care of you. I'll do whatever. You- and I'm like, wow, I don't even yeah, know this yeah, guy. He pretty, he like, pretty much said the same shit to me. And I'm, and I'm yeah. like, <laughs> I'll pay for whatever you need. And I'm like, oh, my God. And I'm like, look, I'm probably going to be in New York for, not for a while. Yeah. Because I, I still, you know, I'm still kind of a Padawan in, in, sure. in the comedy in the comedy oh, realm yes. as well. Yeah. And I got it's no problem. But yeah, I but I told him, much. I said, hey, I appreciate, you know, you want you wanted to sort of take me under your wing. Yeah. Very or nice whatever guy. the fuck, but no, he was cool as fuck, man. Um, yeah. yeah, that that was a that was a good night. Yeah, we we all did really, yeah, yeah everybody really did very really good. good. Yeah, he takes yeah. his shirt off. Actually, oh. John technically said he is my girlfriend. I did. You I did because yeah. I, I I said that's my girlfriend over there, and some guy was like bullshit, and I'm like. Yeah. And I, because I had a comeback, but I'm like, I got 30 seconds left. Yeah, I, I have yeah. no time for this shit because I, I could have like ripped them a new Perfect. one, but I was just like. I got fucking yeah, like like thirty seconds. I gotta yeah. finish this so joke. I got to but, jump up and say I'm his girlfriend. And, yeah, you know I love but, piggyback. And but I'll my but out. my girlfriend was very intimidated. She was just like, hmm? because she, because I mean uh-huh. you you have said you are Leah Thomas. Yes, and I, Caitlyn Jenner. I, yep, a never ending. I, I think the I, I think I the first like time I, I think the first time I ever saw you uh, perform when I I uh, was at the Improv and I saw you uh, host for Ari. Okay, and yes. and I think you called yourself Caitlyn Jenner. I'm like, beautiful, ah, beautiful. that's a good one. Yeah, some people think it's hack to talk about what you look like, and it's mm. like, oh, dude, I I mean, like, like you know, like the pedophile joke I made, where I I, 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 I have glasses on. and yeah, shit, yeah. yeah, which really fucking happened because a lot of people would like don't believe me. I'm like, dude, go to the Walmart and Oldsmar, yeah. and, and ask a lady, hey, did you call a guy a pedophile? She'd be like, sure. yes, yeah. but Probably um, does all the time. But yeah, but it, um, it's funny. I had like you know some comedian friends saying like I need to scrap that joke, and I'm like, why? It's really funny. Sure. And they're like, yeah, but people are gonna think you are a pedophile. I'm like, that's the joke. I mean, you know? I'd be shocked if people really think you're a pedophile. Um, yeah, unless you if you're like a fucking that. dumb like fourteen year old on like TikTok. Hey, that guy's a pet. I mean, yeah, I I really doubt it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's like I got yeah, it's hacked to make jokes about what you look like. It's like sure, but also like if I don't address it at some point, mm-hmm. then it just I don't know. Then I just seem kind of oblivious, and they're it's because they're gonna think about it the whole time, and they're gonna be saying shit to each other. He looks kind of like this. He looks kind of like this. So yeah, I just get it out of the way up front with a few quick lines, so I yeah. don't have to address it anymore. Yeah, so, yeah exactly. Like, you know, it's like I don't want. It's like I know what I look like. Like I'm not pretending like I I look like anything else. So so yeah, I think it's. I think it's just addressing reality oh, yeah. just to be like, this is what I look like. So then I can move on and just do jokes. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you're, if, if you're Leah Thomas, I guess I'm Chaz Bono. Sure. Yeah. There you go. There you go. That's yeah, perfect. See, yeah. Yeah. Everybody says everything is hacked, dude. I can't do anything. I, you know, I post jokes on social media and TikTok all the time. And- I don't know. I mean, dude, like if you think the joke's funny and other people think it's funny, who, who gives a fuck what people think, you know? Yeah. No, I posted a joke yesterday and somebody commented like, I've seen this joke somewhere else. I'm like, well, dude, I think every joke's been fucking written. Almost. Yeah, the, almost. yeah sure. Yeah. All these. T- yeah, exactly. It's like, there's so many different topics. I mean, like, I'm sure like i'm sure someone else has probably said the pedophile one as well too oh sure yeah probably, I mean, yeah i mean probably like years ago i don't know i, I mean dude like you yeah, know i was trashing dasani water in another joke and someone, <laughs> a comedian started a comedian an, an old washed up comedian who doesn't do stand-up anymore mm. who's just a drunk bum he oh, fun i know it's a shame he blocked me because i i was defending my joke he was like, "You've changed." Like, what? I'm like, I'm just defending the joke, just for the sake of argument. What? What? What was the joke? I I was just joking during the pandemic how Dasani was the only thing left. Because <laughs> no one wants to drink Dasani. Yeah, so it's, I'm like, like, how shitty is Dasani? Even when it's the end times, people are like, "I'd rather die." Exactly. Yeah. And yeah, and this guy's texting me, and he's like, "That's a hack joke." You're better. You shouldn't be doing that. And I'm like, "How about go fuck yourself?" Yeah, I'm like, I'm joking about the pandemic and how it's Dasani fits into that and he's like no 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 and it's like what do you why the fuck are you 
Dude, I'll tell you what, man. Like a lot of pandemic jokes are. Still, I hope he unblocks me. I love you. <laughs> unblock you know him. Yeah, come um, on, dude. You, unblock him. God damn it. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. I, I fucking, I, I fucking this, hate but... you. I, I yeah, hate good. you and everything. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I, I don't know who you are. I mean, I'm, I'm sure if you told me after the show, I'll, I'll, you wouldn't I, even know I, I probably wouldn't even know. Nah, so, um, anymore. I'll tell you what, man. Like you know, like pandemic jokes are still kind of taboo. Yeah. Well, like, it's like I didn't, I, I didn't do pandemic jokes until like the third wave just because <laughs> I didn't do them because I was like, people are sick of the pandemic. They don't want to hear it. Yeah. But when it just never went away, then it became a joke that it hasn't gone away. Yeah. So I go, all right, fuck. Well then I'll just talk about the pandemic now. So it's like, yeah, I, I went through different waves of like, talking yeah. about it. and I mean, at, at this point it does feel like it's been so long that <laughs> I try not to talk about it mm-hmm. too much, maybe a few lines, but it's like, I, I necessarily didn't make fun of. I didn't make like jokes about COVID. I mean, I made yeah. some, of course, but I made more jokes about the people yeah. who were ma- who were, who were fucking making COVID so crazy. But sure. by the way, did you have COVID when you were in DC or no? But did I get it? Yeah. In DC? Yeah. What do you? Oh no! I, I was. Know. Oh no! I'm just curious. I mean, I'm not like. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not like. I stay know. away from me. Stay away from me. I know because I, mean, I know you I say. It. I know you said you were sick, yeah, but I was I had just it like a couple of years ago. Maybe I don't. I yeah, I, I actually I probably had COVID ten times at this point. I probably. I probably was born with COVID. Yeah. I didn't even realize. I think. It, yeah, know? the Queen died of COVID. The Tupac Queen died, died of, COVID. of COVID. Jesus died of COVID. Jesus well, actually, died Jesus is actually back yeah. right here. No, Jesus died of COVID. The nails hurt, but the COVID really did him in. Ah man, fucking yeah! They they did say Jesus died of AIDS. No one's They'd, done that take. No. I know. <laughs> how do we, how do we, yeah, how can we offend everybody at one time? Yeah, t- yeah, tell me about the Jesus special. Yeah, I saw there's nice. uh, I saw that one guy who was like, you have a tell permit to be yeah. fucking, to be yeah, crucified. For this, what know, the right? fuck how are you talking is about? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I'm like, talk, no. Let's talk about that. Yeah, it's funny yeah, as shit. Yeah, yeah, I did a stand-up special as Jesus hung up on a cross called uh dying on the cross nice. you know dying funny comedy term yeah uh. but uh yeah and it was a, it was a sequel to my original jesus uh <laughs> stand-up special called jesus talks so now i gotta do a third i had a plans for a third one called jesus christ no way home oh what the i think f- would be <laughs> that's amazing. awesome but uh yeah it's on youtube for free and there's a billion clips of it and i think for pride month you should do a parody of jesus christ superstar and call it jesus christ super gay <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Yeah, that's trans trans Jesus, trans Jesus, trans wow, trans Jesus. Yeah, I mean, he wore a robe. He's got long. Yeah, what's under that robe, Jesus? Tits, tits, fucking big tits. A big fucking fucking vagina. Fucking next, a circumcised pussy. Well, here's the thing. It's actually okay to trash Jesus because Jesus wasn't his real name. It's Yeshua. Exactly. Yeah. So, and it's funny because when they're like, "Don't take the Lord's name in vain," by saying it wrong, everybody's taking. I mean, and Christ wasn't even really his last name. Christ just means anointed one in fucking Greek. Yeah. So I mean, his name was just Yeshua the Carpenter. Well, yeah. Probably in Aramaic, it's probably Yeshua Haladala Chalam. Yeah, I was talking to a an Israeli (laughs) Jewish atheist on christmas israeli Eve. jewish atheist yeah it was a, what a combo that's a great combo but i was right talking because he because he grew up in israel and he knows all this nonsense which is hilarious to grow up in israel as a jew and be atheist yeah because like it's like you grow up in mcdonald's and you're a vegan you know <laughs> but uh so i'm talking to him i'm like yeah you know and god's real name is like yahweh right he's got like eight different fucking names yeah, he's, he's got, got brahma he's got but, uh, Adonai, which means like the like the Lord of the Universe or some yeah, shit like yeah. that. Yeah. But I'm like, so what does like Yahweh even mean? And he's like, well, Yahweh means like the name you're not supposed to speak. I was like, oh really? He was Mother like, Yahweh. <laughs> yeah, he's like, every time you say Yahweh, like that's a sin. That's a sin. That's a. And I was bit- like, oh my god, because wow. he was saying he was like, yeah, in Israel, like the Jews, they just refer to God as like, like the one we don't name. That's like how they refer to him. I was like, oh my god. So yeah, by saying Yahweh, yeah, I'm in trouble. But yeah, that, Yeshua, that, Yahweh, that, that's a bit right Elohim, there. Elohim. That's uh, the Mormon Adonai, Adonai, Adonai Elohim. So many good names. Ad- I know. I pray to Allah, all of them. Fucking, Still no luck. Krishna, fucking Ahura Mazda and Zoroastrianism. I scream for all of them. Exactly. Just- I'm still waiting on my lottery check or whatever. Yeah, exactly. But now, you know, I'm still alive, so that's a good sign. And I've had relatively Reli- good luck. Yeah, religion is so very I think I'm doing something fascinating. Right. I mean, I'm not, like, extremely religious at all. 
Okay. Like I'm just I don't know. I just I don't know. I, I did a lot of re- I did a lot of like studying college and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like I believe there's some sort of energy. I mean, it, that's I as too. much as I know. I be- yeah, I believe there's like a higher power in the universe that we humans are not ready for. Yeah, just some sort of collective <clears throat> energy, or yeah, even you know that has that has whatever. every joke written as yes, well. Yeah, and heard it I th- all. but no, well that's what we're here for to give it new we're, material. I you think know? I think we just uh, came up with a new like like film what's uh <clears throat> scott and john try to go find the fucking source of all the jokes in the universe yeah, it's gonna be on id it's gonna, you know, it's, gonna it's, discovery. it's gonna be on fucking we're gonna shoot ourselves youtube into red space. youtube red I, I i told miranda and i told other people this when i die i want to be shot in the space that'd be great yeah i, I mean think about it dude when your body you know you got your organs still you're shot in the space you're a frozen corpse yeah you, you get picked up by like some aliens oh, yeah, fucking they'll, 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 they'll bring, they'll bring, you, bring back, you back to life. make you smarter yeah. that'd be fucking I just awesome i want to be the first comedian to perform outside of the firmament that'd be fucking great that'd be nice right yeah no one's ever been here before yeah but yeah outside the ice wall <laughs> performing on the ice wall i want to be the first comedian to perform in hell yeah As sure well. yeah that'd Don't be great just, go just dig yeah yeah it's, it's kind of like those serbian uh holes that they were digging back in like the 70s and they okay. supposedly found the gates of hell did you ever hear about that no, that sounds yeah great. they dug like 14 miles into like the fucking crust okay. <clears throat> right before the mantle and all they heard was like screaming like souls oh cool yeah it's pretty cool wow. i i was just like grandma yeah yikes. <laughs> damn oh, well I'm hopefully one day we'll learn something about any of this yeah but probably not yeah, no, it's interesting. I like yeah. I like space. Yeah, my TikTok's I, full of this nonsense. Yeah, my TikTok's showing me conspiracy shit, yeah. spiritual shit every day. This yeah. chakra, that chakra. Mm-hmm. You can levitate things with sound. I wish I can levitate things. Yeah, that'd be nice. I mean, I got a lot of Star Wars shit <clears throat> around yeah. my uh, around around my good. room. Yeah, well, not my room. It's my little office. Yeah, area. yeah. I like Star Wars. You like Star Wars? Yeah, I mean, I, it's, it's okay. fine. Yeah. I, gotta, I mean, I don't like it much I don't now. Like it any more than anything else. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I, think I don't know. Everything is great. It, I don't I, you just love. Every, you're just. I love you're, everything. You're just happy to be I'm here. Happy for the effort. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy. You're happy. You got. Like you still got water in your cup. Yeah, I still got water in my cup. I like what more how, do I need? I like how that book has been there and you haven't noticed it oh my god yeah. wow i got i got it from scott bird because he always oh, he always, he always talks penis. actually i let wow. me fix that for you hang on let me, let me i gotta i gotta re unmirror unmirror you really quick oh nice and it's just a blank notebook. all right go, all right show there the show, show the camera there we go how to live with a small penis yeah and it's it's blank mm-hmm. it's because so you fill it in i gotta fill it in you tell people what it feels like i gotta beautiful unfortunately it's it's not bad i mean it's not messy you know it's what living with a small penis yeah just you know yeah sure i mean you know small stuff is compact yeah easy to carry around or whatever Mm -hmm. i'm I'm not a barbarian according to you know ancient times because unfortunately i have a huge penis and it's very inconvenient oh man yeah it sucks no dang is it hard to like keep it in like your fucking like do you like sit on it and it goes up your ass sometimes basically yes and everybody wants to see it and everybody wants to touch it and shit well, I did. I didn't tell you this, but this is also going on Patreon. So, oh, sure. so we it's un unedited. Yeah, this is well. only fans. Yeah, only fans. we're gonna have a a little oval around my bottom. Half <laughs> that you get to no, on. I'm gonna modify each oval into like one big oval and then two small ones to yeah, into yeah. a penis. So Perfect. it's gonna be one ball there, yeah. another ball there, yes. and then one gigantic cock just going down the fucking. <laughs> yes, yeah. that's exactly what needs to happen. I, I agree. I, if time. if Patrick would have showed up, I would have done that. You yeah, know, I would have. If Patrick were here. SWAT members would be inside the, the <laughs> department already. We love you, Patrick. We love you, Patrick. Oh, yeah. And I'll speak at your funeral when you're murdered. <laughs> <laughs> I will say very nice things, but yeah. not too nice because I don't want them to kill me too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm wondering what it's going to be. Well, because, you know, he sh- he showed me all this Trevor Moore stuff last yeah. time I was there because I did his show too. Yeah, and I listen- then after that I couldn't sleep. For yeah, days. I, l- I listened to that when I was working. Oh, that's yeah. nice. I, I was just yeah, because yeah, he messaged me. He was like, "John's coming on." I'm like, "Oh fuck, this is gonna Hell be yeah. interesting." Oh, that was right great. There. I and loved it. Yeah, because yeah. I because I, I was just like, dude, like <laughs> John's got the knowledge. <laughs> I, was, I was like, dude, I gotta talk with this guy. Yeah, yeah no, thanks, I fucking man. love it. Oh, I loved. Yeah, I love talking about that wild shit. Yeah, man. But yeah, I feel like what kind of happens is, uh, it's almost like you get marked for death early, mm-hmm. and then kind of once you're numbers start to slip a bit that's when they go okay he's worthless let's mm-hmm. kill him now yeah because like yeah it's like when you're on top of the game they don't kill you because yeah. it's like too much of a spectacle or whatever i mean i guess unless you're john f kennedy yeah but, yeah but you know like other people who... just just don't be roman catholic 
Sure. Yeah. What do you? Yeah. What's the? What do you have to be then? I guess Irish Catholic. Okay, yeah. Irish Catholic. <laughs> <the safe one. laughs> yeah, I think they're like a little upset. They're like, listen, you know. Like we're okay being a Judeo Christian society, but enough with your Catholicism bullshit yeah, and your fuck, and your sa- and your saints. Get yeah, the fuck out of here with too that. Much. <laughs> exactly. Too much. Um, yeah, because I remember when I was listening to uh, the show you're on with Patrick. Uh-huh. He was uh, you were saying when you were uh, I think either ju- yeah just after the MTV stuff you would post like jokes on social media and then uh-huh. people would tell you hey you can't post that. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Then he and then he also said Cam Bertrand like had problems with that too yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. Like fucking like what's. Yeah, and then they yeah. Yeah, and then they just cut me out real quick. Oh, Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah, they only told me not to post shit like once and then they never talked to me again. Because I think they realized pretty quickly that I'm going to do whatever I want. They, so they, like, they can't, oh, yeah, they can't just worthless. control people like that. Yeah, you know, they're like, fucked. he's not going to play the game. Yeah. He's not ever going to come back on our network. Yeah, which is, you know. Which is, fine. which is fine, yeah. Fine, I'm, Fuck it. It. I'm on she time now. You're on she time. It's it's like, like what's... Viewers. what's <laughs> probably. What's, what's better than being on she time? Sure, no, I could live nothing. in a, a mansion in Hawaii. You for could months at a time. But yeah, that's, that's old news. I've done that. No, you're you're, I like you're sitting you're, you're, in apartments. You're talking with a lights. you're talking with a future Santa Claus who exactly. comes who comes too quick. I like yeah, I like doing podcasts. That's I love better. Pod- podcasting is the shit. It is. <clears throat> it re- it really fucking is. I'm. Uh, it's fun. It's like yelling at a wall. It really is, and yeah. and you're yelling at people who. People. Sort of agree with you at times, yeah. But sort of, you know, disagree at the same time. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, well, but, just whatever. I don't know. Just podcast. It's, yeah, whatever is. It's fun. I. I mean, here's the thing, Miranda. She doesn't understand. She didn't understand in the beginning, you know, how podcasting works. Cause she, and I'm like, dude, it's just a conversation. Yeah. And she's just like, but like, what are you like? What are you supposed to do? And what I'm like, we, I'm, I'm like, just fucking. This go is with it. it. Yeah, like, baby, yeah. just just go with it. Because we're talking about stuff like our relationship, like you know, in the beginning, and then I'll bring up something ridiculous, and she'd be like, I don't understand huh? what you're doing. And then I'm like, just go with it. Honey. Yeah. It's okay. We Jokes and bits. We love you, honey. Yeah. Yes. We love you. Absolutely. But um. Hey. Yeah, <laughs> I'm ju- oh yeah, well fucking fifty six say- fuck fifty six yeah, holy shit, this oh, thing's perfect. gone by so yeah, fucking I was fast. Say, that sounds about right. You yeah, I, and I'm I'm having way too much fun. I'm just I'm, just, I'm sure I'll let you know you can't leave and you're I gonna you're gonna you're gonna be stuck on cheat time That's forever. Fine. That's yeah. I'm I'm not gonna go to work tomorrow. Yeah, when they I'm, dug 14 miles underground, this is what they found. Yes. Yeah. This yeah, is hell. This is gonna be kind of. <laughs> this is gonna be never-ending podcast. Th- yeah, that'd be oh man. Imagine like imagine you're in hell and and the entire time you're listening to Joe Rogan talking about DMT, yeah, elk meat, and yeah. and uh, athletic greens. No, he- yeah, hell is you just never stop doing people's podcasts. You finish yeah. one and then you open a door and mm-hmm. it's another podcast studio. Wow. And you sit down and you pretty much say the same shit over and over. I'm trying to think. How many people in the Tampa area have podcasts? Um, Quite a bit. I don't know. There's a good amount, I yeah, guess. Yeah. Not too many. Because I think Devin Alexander, he's going to come over on Friday. We're going to do a January 6th special. Okay. Yeah. And I forgot about that. Yeah. 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 I'd say, I mean, in Tampa area, comedians wise, there's probably about 15. With podcasts. Yeah. yeah. Well, with, I don't know. I mean, like how often do they do it exactly? Right. You know? Sure. Because I mean, like. I don't have like a set schedule, kind of like Patrick does, because he does it like Monday through Friday, and he, yeah, I, I think, sure has, he does. he's like a Twitch partner and shit. So yeah, he's kind of like on, he's on a fucking schedule cool. and shit. You know me, I'm just like fuck it. Like if I have time, I'll come yeah. over. You know, is that whatever. knocking? What's happening? Yeah, uh, it's making ice. Oh, that's what that is. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, no, I, I scared, um, I scared a couple of my guests. It sounds like somebody stuck inside of N- the. N- 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 Natasha Samarini was here a couple months ago, oh, and cool. she heard some knocking. I was just like, "That's like, not ice. Fuck? That's yeah, actually yeah. that's it's the last guest. That, that's that's the last female uh, Tampa comedian yeah, yeah. I kidnapped. <laughs> that's why she left. That's exactly. Why she moved. Yeah, she moved to Rhode Island. Rhode, Rhode I- Natasha's awesome, but why Rhode Island? I don't know. You know she time is the last thing you do before you leave Tampa. It, Clearly, you're moving in a couple months yeah, <laughs> anyway. Out, pick- and then I got Zach Hedrick coming on in a couple weeks too, and there he's he's moving he's in March. To, <laughs> there's nowhere else to go but exactly. out of Florida. So I need this. to find every comic yeah, who's this is the goodbye podcast. Because I know I know Miles was talking about he might be moving very soon too. Okay. So I gotta. I mean, I'm not sure when, but I know he's he talked about it. So I got to yeah, get him on before he leaves. I don't yes. know. I guess, yeah, I guess you can say I'm kind of like, you know, just a, a Tampa debriefing. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. just like, it just, t- just tell me everything, what's going on. Yeah, just, yeah. I, I want to 
you know, if you have any issues, speak now. Forever hold your yeah, peace. Yeah, this is a. Uh, this could be my last podcast ever before before my <clears throat> plane is Malaysian <clears throat> airline. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. Not. Or fucking oh. flight flight ninety. Yeah. Hopefully nobody valuable is on my plane. Well, I mean, like. I mean, if it crashes, I mean, everyone's going to be at COVID death, you know? So, oh, for like, sure. Yeah, the plane died of COVID. The plane died of COVID. Yeah. yeah I'm it's... surprised that didn't happen, that they didn't just say machines could get COVID, too. I'm sure like I'm a, sure it's going to happen. My computer I... has a virus. It's COVID. Yeah, exactly. That's a good bit right there. That's a good bit. That's a very good bit. Yeah, um, it's a couple of years too late, but... It is, but, you know, it's... I mean, well, it's, why not? Hey, comedy's about taking risks, Mr. Yeah, Jacobs. comedy's about taking risks. <laughs> and the risk is I'm doing a bad joke. <laughs> but, no, there's something there. There's no such thing as a bad joke. It's just bad, bad people. Bad people. Yeah, bad, 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 people bad delivery. Bad jokes. And bad delivery. Yeah, bad delivery. Mm-hmm. Like the person who delivered Andrew Tate's pizza. Dude, I what don't. Who who is that guy? Dude, I, all I know, yeah, all I know is he got called small dick energy by Greta. Yes. He he. What is he like a fucking like fitness guy? He says how to be a man. He he's a fucking like a like a like a sex trafficking guy. Apparently. That's a, that's all I'm hearing on like fucking wherever the fuck. And yeah, I'm like, and I'm, I'm like, sense. do I have to like this guy? Do I have to know about this guy? Like, because I really don't give a shit about no, this guy. I don't care about anybody on the internet there you go i, don't care about anybody the, I think everybody life. needs to live that motto don't yeah. give, don't give a fuck about people on the internet because no. they don't care about you no just just worry about getting to wherever you need to get to today exactly i just yeah i'm worried about driving home i'm not worried about what yeah you, 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 you got like a good 45 minutes to an hour to drive it's home. far yeah but no, yeah good. i am a little far but it's you know it the, the drive's the drive. worth it you're on fucking cheat exactly. time man the, the, i'm in safety harbor safe space harbor yeah, safe that, that, space that's harbor. why i moved here whenever I, when i get yeah, back from uh doing space. like a mic or whatever and i get made fun of i come back here and i cry yeah you get to uh whatever the word is you get to decompress here i get to decompress and then i have my pronouns all over my wall yes and stuff i mean safe I, I like how you actually went to start account. looking know, yeah. around my pronouns. Pronoun, my, the wall of pronouns. The wall of pronouns. Like runes to a witch. I call. I have a. I have a pronouns. cousin that that identifies as like you know that my or this or they. Um, sure. Yeah. I, and I called her. I called her a pronoun, and she didn't like that. I bet. I'm just like, and I'm like, Jesus, you fucking pronouns, pronouns kill, man. man. Yeah, they do. And then I'm like, I'm, I'm like, first you were pronouns she, her, pronouns. then you're he, him. Now you are. Yeah. I don't know what you are. They, this, I know. them, like, what do you think yeah, non-binary? It. What do you think non-binary people have for genitalia? Like venuses or themginas? The, yeah, venuses. Vuses. Nothing. They have no. nothing there. I guess it's kind of zeros and ones. Uh, you, you know the movie Dogma. Uh, with yeah. a Jane Silent Bob, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like when Alan Rickman pulls his pants down, and he looks like a Ken doll. He's oh, got sure. nothing. Yeah, that's yeah. what a it's non-binary like that. person has. Yes, that in their dream. Yeah, that's, them, a, that's, a, that's a that's a that's a them Gina. Yeah, no, I, I've started my own sex change practice for uh, oh yeah troubled teens. Yeah, who want to uh, change it? Yeah, I cut off people's genitals for free. Really, for charity. Wow. Yeah, it's uh, it's a very good thing. I should get an award for it. Yeah, I think I think you should also be in charge of I health and president. safety. I think you should. I'm running for. You're president. Rushing, you're running I'm for only president. A couple of years away from being eligible. Yeah, you are. Yeah, so I will be you, running. You in, are. Uh, 2028. Yes, 2028. I will be running for president. I'm starting my campaign here right now on chi time, motherfucker. On chi time. So look for me on the ballot. I will be doing many conferences and whatnot. Absolutely. So maybe I, if I'm over in London, maybe I'll stay there. Maybe I'll become the king. <laughs> There you go. You should. Prime be, you minister, should, either one of those things. You should become the next. Like I think. I think family. you should become headmaster of Hogwarts. I should. Really? Yes. Yeah. Well, what made you decide on London? I have a friend who lives there. He said I could live with him. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, if I can crash somewhere overseas, something to do. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. Fucking well, well man. We're, yeah, we're getting. Yeah, we're, about it. we're a little over. The, I mean, I got. I got a lot. You could do anything. Yeah. I got There's a lot no more, but you know, here. he's he's got to get home. I, I gotta I, go I, eat something. I got to get to bed. I I got some food. Oh yeah, what do you got? I got well, my my lunch is for tomorrow, and oh. uh, well, I mean, I don't take it, it's lunch. it's a Marie calendar fucking like okay, yeah, um, microwave meal. Yeah. Um. Sure. I mean, because I don't, I fucking don't like. I mean, I love to cook. Yeah. But I don't have time to cook at times. Sure. Um, I have cheat time. Yeah, cheat time. 
Um, too much time podcast. I, I got I got rice. You want some rice? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's, it's like I'm I'll just. It it's, out, I'm, yeah. You're you're gonna stay here. You're gonna eat some rice yeah, with yeah. with me. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh huh. well, shit, John. It's been a pleasure, it's man. Been an honor. I, I, yeah, th- thanks for coming Thank on, you. man. I um, hope. you want to plug in your social medias and up, upcoming shows. Uh, February 9th I'll be at the Tampa Improv headlining February 9th Tampa Improv and then uh, I don't know when this comes out yeah. oh shit I don't know maybe maybe tonight if I feel like maybe. uploading well, it well gonna... January 13th I'll be at Hyde House in Hyde Park Tampa a very Ooh. fancy neighborhood Ooh. so uh, yeah I'm closing out that show so that'll be nice oh yeah but, um, yeah besides that you know just leave me alone don't talk to me <laughs> and let just say nice things to me and leave me alone I like that's that's all I want in life that's why I'm never gonna make it I don't want to talk to fans. I don't want to meet anybody. But I like people saying nice things. Come up to me, say, I like the show. I like you. And I go, thank you so much. And then, and that's, then never talk to me again. That's all you got to do. That's, that's, that that's easy, all you got to do, you know. But that's not really how you build an audience. And I, uh, want, and I want you people to come up to me and tell me I matter. Because if you don't, I'm going to kill myself. Yeah, you people do that stuff. God damn it. Uh-huh. He's going to hurt himself. Live. B- before I commit the mass murder very the soon. Oh, there you go. That'll get the that'll get the show canceled. <laughs> you can't uh, even joke about that. Hell yeah! All the right, good, get the it. good old days when you used to joke about mass murder. Now you can't do that. Now you can't do that the anymore. The sensitive world we live in. You can't even joke about committing atrocities. <laughs> what a terrible deal! What a terrible deal! I mean, I, I wish it's like oh, I wish we can talk about killing people again, but we can't. You yeah, know, we can't. We can't. So don't even know? do it. Not worth it. Good night, everybody.